Hello, welcome back to Firefighting, Season 2. Yes, we are back again, and it is time, 25th of December 2020, it is time to retire um billy placeholder thank you very much add a new manager which is of course fireman sam um and he is going to manage whoever is last in well probably the premier league let's go and find out arsenal are third this is probably the best way to find out by clicking this button right here with me now it is it's, it's sheffield united right but what we're going to do, before we take on Sheffield United, we're actually going to have a look around, see what other leagues there are, if there's any other like more interesting firefighting challenges. The Spanish first, it's Gujon, it's uh, Gijon. Uh, Italian Serie A, Croton. Bundesliga, Fortuna Dusseldorf. Ligue 1, it's Toulouse. Ooh, uh, they're made to lose, made to win. So these are, there's other leagues as well, obviously, but these are the... The, the, the picks that we've got to go from the top five leagues and I think we let ourselves down with uh, the Premier League last time have a look at that Sheffield United squad what do we think of it is this oh it's Wonderson I wonder what he's doing here you could have laughed you could have laughed you could have made me feel better um, well the challenge stipulates it's got to be last place on Christmas it's Sheffield United. They're they're not all the way down yet, are they? So we could turn it around. We could turn it around. So with that in mind, let's go back and pick Sheffield United. Same attributes as before. Start playing. Here we go again. Um, Sheffield United hire Fireman Sam. Yeah. So this is what the uh, coaching staff recommend as the uh, strongest eleven. We say Wonderson, Jethro Wilson, Norway Burge. I'm looking forward to working with Sander Burge. I, I do like Sander Burge uh, as a player. So um, very excited with that. Um, they want us to fight bravely against relegation, just like they did at Crystal Palace. That's that's what a firefighter does. So I mean, in three year contract. Okay, they want possession football. Make the most of set pieces. Sure. Under 23. Great. Let's move on in and have a look around here at Sheffield United. What is the situation? Um, fight bravely against relegation. Obviously, Harry Wilson is the top scorer, and Sander Burge has the most assists. So a lot of the goals coming from midfield. Um, can we have a look at the stages? Have a look. See what sort of record they have. They've won one match against Burnley. Everybody beats Burnley. Um, currently not safe from the record lowest points, um, although if you saw my Leicester save last year, I know nine points is that record um, in that series. Um, they've scored 16 goals, so more than uh, Crystal Palace when I arrived there, conceded 35. So work to be done on shoring up the defence, and we could, we could, I think we could do this one. They're not that far away from Brentford's and Newcastle's, who's down there again. Let's, let's see what the schedule looks like, what we've got to save it. Brighton, Burnley, Hull, Norwich, and then there's Tottenham, Chelsea, but now oh, there is, there's the poor, the nasty bit there. So, and then towards the end of the season, there's a lot of little games. Apart from this period here at the start of February, I, I, there should be no excuses. What have they done this season? Lose and draw a lot uh, is what they've done. They've started with a draw at Man City. I thought they must have thought they were doing well then, um, but yeah a lot of defeats they've scored some goals which is better than can be said and they've got Brighton tomorrow and then Burnley on the 28th um, so well let's have a look at the team report what does the assistant um, think of the team report squad depth let us go all positions so we've got some players here uh, in goal we've got Silvestri uh, Marco Silvestri did he sign this year he was 750k doing it on a budget are we reflexes are good throwing is poor so that's that's good to see what the substitute goalkeepers like not bad and 19 okay 
Um, left back, we've got a good left back this time. Jack Robinson, decent, and long throws. We could put that long throw set piece into practice again. And Stevens, again, not bad. We've got better quality at left back than we did previously. Um, so that's good to see. At right back, Kieran Freeman, again, not too bad. Poor positioning, uh, though. Uh, Bolduc, um, probably the better option looking at that, the work rate there. Um, and then Basham is obviously going to be centre back. We've got Egan here, centre back, good. Basham, centre back, good. O'Connell, centre back. That's, that's what we're doing, looking at centre backs. Um, through into the midfield, we've got the likes of Sand Sandberg, like I said, um, a good player who I think could be really important in this challenge. Um, we've got Oliver Norwood, I think it is. Yeah, it is Oliver Norwood. Decent, a decent player, wanted. Uh, Lundstrom as well, uh, another good player. Uh, over here, we've got Wilson, who is apparently our best option on the right wide. Griffo. Well, he's good at free kicks and such. So, it looks good. Wanderson, who is this Wanderson? He's okay, he's a, he's a dribbler. And up front, Musse is our best option, um, striking-wise. He's quick and can finish-ish. So, that is the team that we're looking at. Uh, well, this is going to be season two of firefighting a very quick episode to start us off should we get a game in i don't know if we should do we have time i think we've got time i'm going to quickly set up a tactic and then i'll meet you back for the the game against brighton welcome back um it's been uh, a little while since i've just been setting up the team and the set pieces we're going to play a 4 2 3 1 wide bit of count pressing you know pretty average stuff um, there's some bad partnerships in the team, but this is the team we are going to go with. Uh, the attacking front four looks fairly decent, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, some good options off the bench as well. It's the defence I'm a little bit worried about, but they should be okay. Uh, we've only got one fit goalkeeper as well, which is, you know, fantastic. Um, one thing I haven't checked actually is the old money. We had a much better time at Crystal Palace, didn't we? much better time at Crystal Palace. Anyway, we are playing Brighton in our first game as manager of Sheffield United. Let's see if we can get something out of it. So here's the Brighton team. Um, as you see, not much change. Oh, they signed development. Is he the one that actually signed in real life from Ajax? They did! Good. Very realistic football manager. Well done. Um, I expect nothing but a win to end this bad run of form. Um, and I say that with the utmost confidence, not knowing much about this team at all. It's the first highlight. It's one of our long throws that we've set up. It's gone straight to Matthew Ryan. Woo! Good. Uh, that won't be the end of the highlight, though, as we know. Um, if it's caught by the keeper, don't go to sleeper. That's, that's not a phrase that football manager players have used before. But I'm going to try and start it today uh, as we're out here in the rain trying to defend uh, at all. Can we? Can we defend? I don't know if we can. We can't, but we haven't conceded, so. Here we are on the ball. Sander Burge, Bulldog, and Egan. We're looking better than we did a few minutes ago, and by that I mean we actually have the ball uh, as we fire it forwards. We do get it back as well, so. That's a great ball by Sander Burge. It's a shame Wanderson's header. It's too nobody but Moose has slipped in and backed us a goal. What do you know about that? He's only his third of the season, apparently. Lovely stuff. Lovely to see the high press working well. Working wonders, in fact. I thought Wanderson um, has wasted the chance, but his header on to no one was actually a perfect little... You know, he plays the pass before the assist. That's the problem with uh, Wanderson. Here we go, it's a uh, Brighton throw in. Uh, hopefully, we can make something of a counter attack here. Um, good and proper. <laughs> See, it was on the ball a second. Good and good. It was a good joke that they've gone through. Uh, we saved it though, so right on. It's a free kick now. Harry Wilson stands over it, plays it down the line to Wanderson, who hopefully can ping it back across or just get tackled easily. Uh, there's four back though, so we should pick that up nice and easy. Fleck, Robinson, back out to Wanderson. Uh, this is good football. 
I say good football, it was just a long ball out, wasn't it? Moy's on it now, no? And Wanderson just keeps getting in and really deserved to go there. So, next time, it's a free kick for Bryson now. Action packed first game here. Uh, luckily, our keeper is able to catch. So, that's answered the immediate question of can our keeper catch? Um, can he kick? He did. It was onto the head of Musa, but didn't really make a lot of it as uh, they're going to build out from the back now. Unless Robinson can intercept. He, he nearly did. He nearly did. But March is now on the march. Good and proper. I've done it again. Uh, uh, more pay. It's just going through. A good save again, though. And uh, we can't demand more because I already did. Uh, as we're straight back, this is going to be a free kick, which I can see going straight into the back of the net. Can you? Yes. Not straight in, but basically, basically straight in. Don't like conceding free kicks on Foot Manager 20, because they do tend to be scored often, more often than not, um, if not from the goal. I mean, that was basically in, as Lewis Dunk hits that home. 1-1. One, one. Here we are, another highlight for us. Just bang it forward to Wanderson. That's the tactic. Seems to be so far. Uh, Egan picks that up, though, and we've got the ball back. Let's not just bang it forward to Wanderson as we build it from the back a bit, a bit better this time. Burge on the ball. Use use the guys in midfield because they can pass the ball. And Harry Wilson can really run at the attack as well. And he's got it through to Musse, who's... Um, well, he's miss-aid. He's miss-aid. Musse's miss-aid. It's, um, it's a free kick for Brighton. No, I'm going to say anything. I'm just going to watch, aren't we? I'm just going to watch. He's offside this time, so maybe we'll learn. It's a throw, it, throw in for us as Bolduck straight into Ryan again. Um, like we say, if we go to the keeper, don't go to sleeper. Put the pressure on early, but they have got it out of their defence. No, Fleck has got in and he's he's got forward. Can he get the ball in the box? He does, and Moussa has got a second of the game. It's, Bit deja vu this, uh, if you remember uh, the first game of the Crystal Palace firefighting job, which went so well. Um, are you scored two uh, there for us on, on the first game? Boy, we beat Aston Villa, um, I believe it was actually 2 1 as well. But that's not going to happen this time because it's only the first half. So let's just keep going. Half time, we're doing all right. Um, don't let your performance levels drop. Moussa is upset. Fuck him. Demanding a little bit more. We've got a free kick though. It's all the way over to Basham who's head that over from perhaps a, a foot out. It's a corner. Griffo whips it in. Dunk heads it clear. Sander Burr should get to that. He does. Gets it to Fleck. Fleck looking for an option. The option is to run and then cross all the way over to Baldock. Baldock will have a go. He just runs into the box and classes it against Aina, I think you pronounce it. Uh, and that'll be a goal kick apparently. It's uh, another long throw. These have worked so well so far. I mean, that one actually made it into the box uh, and didn't go directly to the keeper, so that's great. Comes back out to Bulldog, who'll have another go. Don't shoot, Bulldog. Please don't. We're not going to have another Wolf situation, are we? No, because he's lost the ball. I'd rather you shot, actually, uh, if you're going to do that. Um, but Burge will get that. Griffo will clean up as well. Griffo and Burge, two of our better players uh, on the pitch. Out to Wilson, who heads it on to Moussa. Can he get a hat-trick? No, 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 he can't, actually. Here we go again, another highlight. They're just non-stop in this first match, um, which is a shame because if, if we could just end it now and, and win, that would be fantastic. We are still positive. Uh, I do realize that. Uh, I was hoping to get a bit more of a cushion, but we're not finishing uh, many of the chances and that may punish us um, right now as we, we probably will concede here. As it goes all the way over to Montoya, who puts it you know, into the side netting. So we're fine, honestly. No break, no break for old Fireman Sam um, and me commentating on it here. Uh, as March comes marching down the side again, gives it to. I just, I can't help myself when I see the names and I see that they could be made into funny little jokes. I just dunk on them. Oh, I did it again. Um, yeah, it's over to Montoya. Um, he, he's running down the right hand side. I'll stop making jokes because we're not doing a lot to stop him. Yes, we are. Robinson defends. Wanderson back to Robinson. Wonder Robin. Robin Wonder. What do you say? Back to Wanderson. This is good play. Building up from the back. Quick counter. Wanderson. Shot. Tame. 
Triple change. Um, McBurney, um, Norwood and Stevens are all on. Uh, Musse goes out to the right as a Ramdeuter. Who knew? Um, and Wilson, Burge and Robinson come off. So try and solidify for the last five minutes. Uh, we'll talk through it as well as we go defensive. Um, the time is ticking away. Um, let's just tell them to tighten up. Let's get our second win of the season. Fireman Sam, I was about to say, has done it again. We've got a free kick. Seal it, Moose. He doesn't. He doesn't seal it at all, does he? Um, but we've got another throw in. Seal it, McBurney. He doesn't seal it either. But that should seal it by not sealing it. We, we've wasted enough time attacking. And there we go. A 2 1 win against Brighton. What do you know about that? Um, well done, lads. Good win. Moose, man of the match. Um, proud of you. Proud of you, Moose. Even though you did miss a, a lot, Moose, I'm very proud. So, where does that leave us? Still bottom, because Brighton were our closest rivals. I didn't realise that before we started the match. Uh, the fact that we only beat them 2-1 um, means there's still a lot of work to do. And zero budget to do it in. So, we should probably just get on and try and use this team to the best of our ability. We'll meet back. Um, ooh, I don't know. We'll play Brighton again. It's the same thing, isn't it? Over and over again. Uh, we'll meet back for um, Fulham and the end of the transfer window. See if I do anything in that transfer window with the zero money that we've been gifted here. Might try and sell on a few release clauses or sell on clauses. See if we can get anything out of it. For now though, thanks for watching. Season 2 of Firefighting, if you're excited, smash buttons and, you know, just fucking enjoy yourself. Piss off. Bye.